Thank you for convening this high-level meeting. Expanding on the achieved progress, we will discuss Armenia's efforts to strengthen the resilience of its democratic institutions. We firmly believe that the respect for human rights and fundamental freedoms underpins our cooperation. Despite facing multiple crises, Armenia has made significant progress toward ensuring democracy. Expanding on the achieved progress, we will discuss Armenian's efforts to strengthen the, the resilience of its democratic institutions. We firmly believe that the respect for human rights and fundamental freedoms underpin our cooperation. The Republic of Armenia reaffirms its commitment to advancing, uh, advancing justice and public sector reforms to build a stronger more secure and advanced country. Building on our fruitful political cooperation, it is high time we foster our economic collaboration, promote trade, and look into expanding our partnership in mobility. We are determined to enhance the competitiveness of the Armenian private sector to expand to new markets. Further, we stand ready to improve our investment climate and make it more appealing to European and American companies. We expect our partners to assist us in modernizing Armenia's quality infrastructure, bridge business networks, and explore potential trade facilitation schemes. Promoting socioeconomic inclusion and addressing the short and long-term needs of more than 100,000 forcibly displaced Armenians from Nagorno-Karabakh is also of paramount importance. Our collective efforts should focus on empowering refugees to rebuild their lives with dignity through housing and economic activi uh, activation policies. I want to stress that we remain committed to the normalization of relations with Azerbaijan based on mutual recognition of each other's sovereignty and territorial integrity in accordance with the Almaty Declaration of 1991. Armenia is also fully committed to the delimitation of borders based on the Almaty Declaration and unblocking all regional communications based on full respect for countries' sovereignty and jurisdiction and the principles of equality and reciprocity. To achieve this objective, we have introduced the Crossroads of Peace initiative, which aims to promote connectivity and dialogue with neighboring countries and beyond. To enhance synergies in the wider region, we seek to integrate our initiative with the EU's global gateway strategy and expect the support of our partners in this regard. Madam President, Secretary Blinken, High Representative Borrell, 
I believe that our shared vision of democratic, peaceful, and prosperous future will continue to serve as the backbone and the guiding star of our mutually trusted relations. Once again, thank you for fostering this dialogue and for your continued support to the Republic of Armenia. Thank you very much. Well, um, Madam President, thank you. It's wonderful, as always, uh, to be with you, and thank you for bringing us together. Prime Minister, so good to see you, and my friend Joseph uh, as well. Very good to have you here. Uh, Prime Minister, I want to start by thanking you for your leadership and also your partnership. Uh, it means a lot, and I think it um, sets a very strong foundation for what we can do together uh, going into the future. Uh, we are here to reaffirm transatlantic support for a democratic, prosperous future for the Armenian people and a more integrated and a more peaceful South Caucasus region. Uh, we share the Armenian people's vision for the future. Uh, we want Armenia to take its place as a strong, independent nation at peace with its neighbors, connected to the region and the world. The United States and the European Union both want to be partners in this effort, and I think uh, today is evidence of that. Um, we have to harness this moment of choice for the Armenian people and for its leaders. The United States is investing in efforts that are aligned with the Prime Minister's governance and economic reforms. Uh, we plan to provide over $65 million in assistance from our FY23 budget funds. That's up more than 50 percent from two years ago. We're committed to further growing our support for Armenia's democratic and economic resilience with investments for food security, digital infrastructure, diversification of energy, uh, diversification of trade partners, and other priorities that the Prime Minister has set. And we will continue to su support the 100,000 ethnic Armenians displaced from Nagorno-Karabakh. Uh, this is central to Armenia's long-term stability and prosperity, as well as its regional security. Uh, and we're supporting efforts to integrate people into the economy, into society, including via access to housing, jobs, education. For Armenia, regional integration is a key to security and to prosperity. And so we support the ideas, Mr. Prime Minister, that are at the heart of your Crossroads of Peace proposal. Um, we, we see a more integrated South Caucasus with new transportation routes, energy cooperation, telecommunications. Um, this will promote uh, diversified economies, expanded opportunity, and it will bolster peace and reconciliation efforts. There is a powerful future with a region that is increasingly integrated that will benefit people in every connected country. And the United States, the European Union, want to help you build that. So we, too, look very much forward to a productive discussion today um, and then carrying on from today, doing the work of strengthening this partnership and strengthening Armenia. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Madam President, Prime Minister Pashinyan, Secretary Blinken, dear Tony. Two months ago, here in Brussels, we hold a partnership council with Armenia. And it was clear that uh, our relations are developing in a positive track, that they are stronger than ever, and that there is a mutual interest to advance them further. And that's what we are doing here today. We are taking this partnership to the next level, together with our American friends, joining forces to demonstrate our strong commitment to Armenia's sovereignty, democracy, and resilience. We want to join our forces to strengthen and move our relations forward in all dimensions. That's what we agreed with the Foreign Minister, Bisoyan, to take our Armenia-EU partnership agenda in the highest possible level inside the framework of our Partnership Council. And this is not just a word. The President of the Commission has announced a substantial resilience and growth package for Armenia to underpin this partnership agenda. 
We know that uh, Armenia has to continue working on the reforms in order to increase their resilience. And these efforts will be part of this uh, comprehensive and enhanced partnership agreement. This will increase the resilience of the Armenian society. And we have seen on the run-up to this meeting, we have seen how Armenia is increasingly targeted by foreign information manipulation and interference. And part of our commitment is to support you to tackle this information and to make people understand which is the right way of doing things, improving media literacy. Because we believe that a stronger, a more stable Armenia means a stronger, a more stable South Caucasus. Our work will be on the benefit of all countries in the region. Thank you. Thank you very much. May I invite you now to go yes, to the meeting room? Thank you. Thank you.